Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. It's Prophet Yaakim. And today I'm just gonna talk about semen retention. This video is more for the brothers and the importance of semen retention. You know, people, a lot of people don't think it's real. A lot of people think there's no benefits to it, that you can just excessively ejaculate and that you won't have no consequences, you won't have no problems in your daily life, which is not true at all. There's many people talking about how their porn addiction caused them, you know, just to go downhill in life. People, men have lost their jobs, men have lost opportunities, men have lost their families, their friends, their whole so social life because they are just have a addiction you know what i'm saying they have an addiction and even on google they call it a disorder you know what i'm saying but it's an addiction it's definitely an addiction and i remember i just watched uh someone's testimony and this man is like i don't know how old he was but he's like 50 60 or 70. how he talking about how he had a porn addiction for 40 years and he just goes down a list of how it just ruined his life you know what I'm saying? It ruined his life. He said just he had suffered muscle mass, um, immune system deficiencies, hair loss, you know, loss of just real relationships and being around people, having a meaningful relationship with a woman. You know, you got to understand that stuff fries your dopamine receptors. It fries your oxytocin in your, in your body. So if you do that excessively, and say you finally get a chance just to be with a woman who likes you and she wants to, you know, build with you and y'all could possibly be married and stuff like that. But imagine that y'all, you know, you get into the bedroom and you, know, you can't perform because you watch a lot of pornography. Because that's how, that would cause this ED. You know what I'm saying? Because you are so used to, you know, getting those dope, them high dopamine releases off a of porn that a, a, a woman just not gonna do it for you. She's not gonna do it for you. And that's why that happens. But these are the pros, you know, in my personal life that I know that seam retention, you will benefit off of. You just gotta give it time, man. You gotta understand, if you've been watching pornography for a year, two years, five plus years, 10 plus years, it's gonna take time for your brain to reboot. It's gonna take time for your body to get used to holding your your seat in. Plus you will probably backslide or you gonna relapse. So it's gonna take time for your, your body just to get used to that. But I'm telling you, it's worth it. It's not worth it just to keep on watching pornography, you know, get you a wife that God sends to you, man, and you know, be fruitful and multiply. But well, these are the benefits that I've seen with scene retention, you know, and I went seven months on scene retention. And you know, now God, is I'm walking righteously and I'm just restarting my journey. But these are things that I've seen in my personal life, which is a boost of energy. You definitely will have a boost of energy on scene retention. Like you don't need a lot of sleep. You can get two to three hours, four hours of sleep and you can be up throughout the day. Like you can be full of energy. It depends how long you have been on it. Like I say, at least a season, give yourself a season. You know, y'all don't know it takes 64 to 72 days for a man's semen to fully mature. You now I call it the semen rejuvenation cycle. Like just how, you know, women have their menstrual cycles. Men actually go through something as well, the semen rejuvenation cycle. And that takes 64 days to 72 days. So that takes even longer. So that's just goes to show you how important our seed is as a man. It takes literally two months plus for our seed to fully mature. That's a, that's a lot of time, that's a lot of time. So you gonna notice you gonna have a boost of energy. Also, you know, hair growth. You know, you gonna notice your hair getting thicker, more finer, your facial features gonna pop, you know, body hair, things of that nature. Now people always say they get like aggressive, aggressive which you know that could happen it depends you know what i'm saying on the person um me personally that it really don't happen to me but i, I that definitely is true you know you could have 
spikes of energy, spikes of aggression. But that's just show like when people are seeing retention and they just find that they're wanting to do something sexual. Like you gotta understand, that's just your masculine energy just trying to come back to you, man. That's just your masculine energy just trying to restore itself in you. You know, you might think you know you just want to release it, but that's just like your masculine energy really just building up in you. That's what you're feeling. You know what I'm saying? Your body just got used to when you when you feel those that spike of energy, you just want to release it. But honestly, that's just your masculinity come back to you, man. Nothing you can realize when you're seeing retention for like a decent amount of time. I say at least half a year to a year. You know, of course, the female attraction, you don't get female attraction. And I'm going to say this just because you're on scene retention does not mean you won't get female attraction. Because you can get female attraction without being on scene retention. It's just that we all emit, you know, an aura around us. We all emit a frequency. We are electrical beings. Like, why you think when you, like, touch a balloon or touch a carpet, you can shock, it can shock your finger? You know, could we all emit some type of energy out here in the world? So, you know, a female can pick up on that. She can pick up on your frequency, your energy, and she can be attracted to it. it can grab, she can gravitate towards that. So always keep that in mind as well. But that's just not the end-all, be-all. Of course, there's uh, more to it as well. And, you know, another thing on see retention, you can get an increase in focus versus when you masturbating or just fornicating. You know, I definitely noticed you get a mental fogginess that you cannot focus. You're not focused on nothing. You know, you can't focus. You're thinking about sexual things or you're just thinking about women and things of that nature. You're just not focused. That's why when people pray after like fornicating or masturbating, they can't focus. They get these evil demonic thoughts in their prayers because you get that mental fog. Man, that's demonic. Another benefit is you get more confidence and less anxiety. One thing I know, noticed for sure when I was battling with pornography and masturbation, you know, anxiety definitely skyrockets. You know, anxiety, you know, you just start feeling things that you don't, you can't even explain. You know what I'm saying? Like, you are timid, you're shy, you're not looking people in their eyes, you're not making eye contact with people. That's another thing that benefit. I see retention, you start making eye contact with people. You know, you start standing up with your back straight, with your head high. And... It's just overall benefits, man. You know, pornography, there's no benefits to it, man. There's no benefits. It's all, it's all just, you know, it works against you. You know, it just works against you in every way, shape, and form. Like I said, go find that testimony I said. There's like a 40-year-old man. He talks about, or 50, 60, however, however old he was, how his experience of like 40 years of porn addiction, you know, y'all should watch that. It should definitely open your eyes. Because there's so many studies today even to where it says the cons of excessive masturbation. And, you know, another thing I see retention, you get a muscle mass increase because you gotta understand. Yeah, people, when people talking about, like, you know, holding your semen too long is bad. I mean, it just get reabsorbed back into the body. So I don't think there's nothing bad with it. It's proven now, there's a study that's proven that now, that, you know, and it don't matter how long. Like, they say, like, the two that the a man's semen it builds up in it's like 20 feet long if it's stretched out so that bro i mean that just should explain all that you know it could 20 feet foot long if it's stretched out the sack that holds the semen so you can pretty much you can store a lot of semen up in there then all right another thing you know it's a stronger erection you know that's just be adults here that's just something that happens, man. You know, people wonder why they get the, the ED or they have performance anxiety and stuff like that, man. That's because of the pornography, man. You just watching things you shouldn't be watching. And that's why it's demonic. It's, you shouldn't just watch that, man. You know, especially if you got a, a woman you like. Imagine, just imagine that, man. You got the, the woman you finally wanted all your life, of your dreams, man. You know, you want to marry this woman. You love her, right? You get in the bedroom, you know what I'm saying? Things lead to things. And you can't keep an erection. Like, that's an L. It's a hard L. 
Don't make that a canon event in your life. Do not make that a canon event in your life. I don't want that to happen to you, right? And these are the tips, man, that, seem re that you will get on seed retention. You know, it might not happen in a month or two months or even six months. But maybe you have to wait a year. You got to understand that, you know, you got to rewire your brain. That stuff takes time. It might take you a year. I heard somebody say they, it took them nine months, literally. Because, you know, you, you like I said, you fry your dopamine receptors. You fry your oxyto oxytocin and all the other receptors in your brain. You know, your eye gates. You know what I'm saying? So that's why when you look at a woman, you, you're not even getting, you know, turned on at all. Like, there's a, another story I heard. Dude was just down bad watching pornography. And he knew if a woman, his, the finest woman came in his presence, he wouldn't even care. He wouldn't even look at her. 